Sergeant Entry Prisma. Report. Honorable. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, shall we please upstand? Shall we please be upstanding to welcome our dignitaries? The guest of honor is the Minister for Defence, Honourable Dominic Nitu.
Shall we please be seated? Our guest of honor, the Minister for Defense, Honorable Dominic Nitubo. Her Excellency, Louis Babos, the first secretary of the Brazilian Embassy. Honorable Henry Kotz, of Interior Designates. The Vice Chairperson of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Defense and Interior, Honorable Ophelia Mensah. The Chief of the Defense. The Chief of the Defense Staff, Service Chiefs, Senior Executives for Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer Defense and Security. Deputy Chiefs of Staff, the Chief Defense Intelligence Formation Commanders, Directors General, Directors, Senior Officers, Officers, Master Air Warrants Officer, Airmen, Defense Civilian Staff, our partners from the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Good morning to you all and welcome to, ladies and gentlemen, a brief ground orientation. We are currently seated on the tarmac of the Air Force Base, Accra. Behind us is the executive lounge. To our left, when facing the tarmac, is the old terminal of the Kotoka International Airport. To our right is the James Ernest Akron Kote Hangar. In front of us, is the A-29 Super Tucano aircraft, the reason for our gathering today. Please do not be mistaken with the size of the aircraft because it is highly maneuverable and combat proven. The aircraft will be introduced to us in due course. Once again, you are all most welcome. We shall now kickstart this program with an opening prayer. May I respectfully invite the Acting Director General of Religious Affairs, Colonel Benjamin Gosin Kumi Wood, and the Imam, Flight Lieutenant Masharuddin Maiga, to give us the opening prayers. Shall we please stand for a word of prayer? Sovereign Lord, our gracious Father, we ascribe to you praise, glory, and honor for your bounteous grace towards us, the blessings of the day that you have given us, and for bringing us together to witness the demonstration of A-29 Super Tucano aircraft static and flight demonstrations. We pray that your presence will be with us and grant that at the end of this day, the decisions that will be taken, the actions that will be taken will bring us to a place where our airspace will be secured and that we will dominate the airspace of our nation and have effective firepower for national security purposes. Bless our gathering today and let your name sublime be glorified. Thank you for your leading in Jesus' name. Amen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yomiddin Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Asta'in Ihdila Surat Al-Mustaqim Surat Al-Ladina Al-Amta Alayhim Gair Al-Maktubi Alayhim Wa Lakku Alayhim Amin Thank you, please be seated Thank you, sir Thank you very much, sir, for the prayers Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen We shall now proceed to have the welcome remarks by the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Vice Marshal, Frederick Asari Kwesi Bequin. Shall we please welcome him with a round of applause.
Nice wheat. Nice wheat. Nice wheat. Guest of honor, Honorable Dominic Pitti, Minister for Defense, and Member of Parliament for Bimbila Constituency, Minister for Interior, Honorable Henry Cotte, Deputy Chief of Staff at the Presidency, Honorable Sam Okujetu, Chief Director of the Ministry of Defense, Chief of the Defense Staff. Service Chiefs, former Chiefs of the Defense Staff, former Service Chiefs, Chief of Staff at the General Headquarters, Deputy Chief of Staffs, Commandants, Commission Commanders, Directors General, Generals, Admirals, and Marshals, both seven and retired, Officers, both serving and retired, forces sergeant major, service sergeant majors, members of the diplomatic corps, the Sierra Nevada team, and the Embraer Defense and Security members, the clergy, soldiers, sailors and airmen, defense media staff, Distinguished invited guests, the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is said that the only service closest to God is the Air Force. And today, we are gathered here to witness the manifestation of this statement. Let me take this opportunity to humbly welcome you all. The Air Force Base Accra for today's static display and flight demonstration of the A29 Super Tucano aircraft. It has taken a deed of hard work and prudence from the teams from Sierra Nevada Corporation, the Embraer Defense and Security, as well as personnel from the Ghana Air Force to ensure we have a flawless exhibition of today's air show. Today's static display and flight demonstration will not only showcase the agility and performance of the Super Tucano aircraft, but also highlight the skills and capabilities of the pilot in that machine. The pilot will treat us to amazing maneuvers, such as a fast fly pass at a speed of 240 knots at 300 to 500 feet. Nose up the slow rules low speed path with 135 knots, and air to ground attack simulations for close air support missions 
that we use to support our special forces in combat. This flight demonstration and static display together will provide a platform for collaboration and negotiations between the Ghana Air Force, Sierra Nevada Corporation, and Embraer Defense and Security for future acquisition. This partnership will facilitate our processes and align our requirements for future consideration and acquisition. Moreover, in line with my vision to build a smart Air Force capable of defending our territorial airspace against any threats and deliver air power effectively and efficiently for national development while enhancing the welfare of airmen. This comes very timely. The Ghana Air Force is the opportunity to critically consider the Supercargo aircraft as an appropriate offensive platform to enhance our deterrent and offensive posture within the sub region. The Super Tucano aircraft is a light attack, combat proving, and reconnaissance aircraft used in most air forces worldwide. It is versatile with powerful turboprop engines operating at low maintenance and operating cost. It is known for its rugged and durable design, allowing it to be operated from unimproved runways and forward operating bases. These capabilities make the Super Tucano suitable for counter-terrorism, counter-insurgency, and close combat missions. The Super Tucano, therefore, has the potential of enhancing Ghana Air Force's counter-insurgency and counter-terrorism drive to safeguard our borders and also to deal with piracy issues in our maritime domain. So we are grateful to our friends from the Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer Defense and Security who are starting to put up this static display and the flight demonstration of this magnificent high performance type of aircraft here in Accra. Such demonstration is not just about the true and spectacle, but also goes a long way to inspire the young generations who aspire to be aviators and aircraft engineers. Let's take advantage and build our passion to join the Air Force to see the world as the sky is no longer the limit. Again, let me commend all the parties for the tireless effort in the last few days to ensure the success of today's program. This indicates the willingness of all stakeholders to continue to cooperate to align our mutual interests for a successful partnership and for defense of our territorial airspace. Now, the Ghana Air Force is particularly thankful to the Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer Defense Security for all the efforts so far and hope for a successful flight demonstration and collaboration for future acquisition. To our guests of honor, we are grateful for making time off your busy schedule to join us for this demonstration. It is our earnest hope that at the end of this demonstration, the Super Tucano will be considered highly in our decision-making for acquisition. To my soldiers, sailors, airmen, and all invited guests, thank you for joining us for this magnificent flight demonstration. I encourage you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you, and may God bless us all. Thank you very much, sir, for the welcome remarks. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to announce that we are live on YouTube, at Official Gaff TV. We also have our media partners here with us, and we're grateful to you all for your presence. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this demonstration is in conjunction with Sierra Nevada a trusted advanced technology solutions in aerospace and national security. May I now respectfully invite me the Senior Director, International Business Africa, to give us some remarks. Shall we please welcome him with a round of applause.
Chia na Sida. Honorable Defense Minister Heath Wolf, Chief of the Defense Staff, General Alphonse Pepra, Chief of the Air Staff Begway, Service Chiefs, Distinguished Members of Parliament, the Ghana Defense Force, and honored guests. Good morning. I'm Eric Hoff of Sierra Nevada Corporation in the United States of America. I'm honored to be here today to welcome you to our demonstration. Over time, Sierra Nevada, over time, Sierra Nevada has developed deep ties to West Africa and has been present here operationally for over 15 years, supporting either United States African Command security cooperation programs or other critical regional defense programs. As Sierra Nevada looks to the Republic of Ghana and our new friends and colleagues, we are committed to deepening this partnership through a growing relationship across the United States, Ghana, as well as Brazil, by a potential A-29 Super Ghana Security Cooperation Program acquisition. Operationally, with an eye towards countering violent extremist organizations and promoting regional security and peace, SNC has partnered with Embraer of Brazil via to bring you the A-29 Super Tucano aircraft today. As Air Vice Marshal Beckway portended, and most of you know, the A-29 is a proven aircraft and capability. It represents the best in class in light attack and arm, arm reconnaissance aircraft. Supporting the United States Air Force foreign defense and security cooperation it is made in the United States by Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer. The A-29 itself has been selected by 16 Air Forces worldwide, with over 275 aircraft delivered. The worldwide fleet has accumulated more than 500,000 flight hours and over 60,000 combat hours. Looking towards the region, Sierra Nevada is acutely aware of the border and maritime security challenges of the Volta, Lower Sahel, and the Gulf of Guinea. And as many of you know, SNC has been supporting a close West African nation, addressing internal security issues and overall stability by applying the capabilities of the Super Tucano aircraft. It is equipped with the most advanced technology available, Air Ground Integrated, or AGI, US communication equipment, reconnaissance capabilities, sensor technology, as well as precision weapons. We understand that a vital, capable international force like Ghana requires an agile, on-call combat and reconnaissance aircraft that can be sustained affordably and effectively. The A-29 Super Tucano that you will see today is a versatile and powerful aircraft known for its rugged, durable design, as Air Vice Marshal Beckway said. However, with an operating cost of lower than $1,500 per for flight hour, operational, and maintenance. Sierra Nevada has been pr proud of supporting its partners worldwide with fully mis mission capability rates of the A-29 Super Tucano of over 90%. As said before, to date, the A-29 Super Tucano operating in West Africa is combat proven, but I have to highlight it's been without a single loss of enemy fire. I hope that you'll enjoy, that you'll join us in exploring the capabilities and the value of the A-29 to Ghana's re regional defense and security posture, as well as to consider the U.S. government and U.S. industry partner here as emblematic of ongoing bilateral strategic relationships between our nations. Finally, I would like to express our gratitude for everyone's presence today and your commitment to peace, security, as well as collaboration amongst our nations. Thank you very much, Mr. Eric Hoff. It is now the turn of Emrai. May I now respectfully invite Mr. Arnold Sobreiro, Director of Business Development West Africa, to give his remarks. Shall we please welcome him and of applause? Your Excellency. Minister of Defense, Your Excellency, the Chief of the Air Force, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. May I watch it? A lot has been said about the A-29 capabilities 
but I would like to highlight also the ability of the Ghana Air Force, Ghana Air Forces to organize such amazing events and to really illustrate the performance of the infantry. So I would like to start to say thank you, Medase, for the continuing partnership trust. And I fully realize now the magnitude of this event and its importance. The journey of the A-29 Super aircraft in Ghana has started long back, close to 10 years ago. And now we are now back in full force with our U.S. partner, SNC. The combination of Embraer proven platform A-29 and SNC experience and expertise in military experience expertise the backing of the U.S. Air Force make a powerful partnership to deliver to the Ghana Air Force the best capabilities to meet its security requirements. The A-29 has been deployed in West Africa, in four countries so far. 22 aircraft are in operation and we are looking for more potential discussion for future acquisitions. We believe it is the right platform for USR operations, for counterurgency operations, as well as to advance your pilot training and inspire future generation to join the Air Force. I thank you again for your trust, your partnership, and I look forward for an exciting journey together. Let us Thank you very much, Mr. Andor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to respectfully invite our guest of honor, the Minister for Defense, Honorable Dominic Nitowo, to give his remarks. Shall we please welcome him with a round of applause? Representative of Sierra Nevada Corporation, officers, airmen and women, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, my good friends, the media. It is with a profound sense of honor and privilege to be part of this prestigious event as a guest of honor. I'd be correct to say that records indicate that this is the second time such a memorable event of this nature is being hosted by our proud Ghana Air Force. First and foremost, I wish 
to extend my heartfelt congratulations to Ghana Air Force, and particularly to the Chief of Air Staff, Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer Defense and Security for their commendable operation, which has resulted in the remarkable success for today's flight demonstration. I am aware that such events are relatively uncommon in our region, and their successful execution demands commendable courage and efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, the prevailing security landscape in our sub-region underscores the imperative for nations, including ours, to prioritize efforts in counterterrorism and various forms of asymmetric warfare. Drawing insights from experience in Iraq, Afghanistan, and of course, later in Ukraine, just to mention by a few, it is evident that air power confers a crucial asymmetric advantage, capable of decisively impacting engagements where adversaries pose advantages in their domains. The control of the air has therefore become paramount as air superiority forms the foundation for successful counter-insurgency counter operations. Collaboration efforts showcased today introduce a diverse array of air designed to effectively secure and maintain our air security in a congested airspace. I'm told that the A29 Super Tucano tailored for counterterrorism, as the air chief of air staff mentioned, close air support and aerial reconnaissance missions in low threat environments presents new opportunities to augment our capability in counterinsurgency and counterterrorism. It's clear from the speech of the air staff that our air force has fallen in love with these aircraft. And I'm sure that negotiations to acquire this aircraft should start in earnest. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to witness the partnership between the Ghana Air Force, Sierra Nevada Corporation, and Embraer Defense and Security as they work together to align our objectives for future cooperation. This demonstration not only affords us to first and look at the capability of the A2 Super Tucano, but also facilitates the cultivation of relationships essential for sustained collaboration. As we commemorate this event, let us be mindful that maintaining an aircraft's operational readiness at all times requires a meticulous organized ground infrastructure, a reliable ground organization, and logistics support are indispensable to keep aircraft airborne and effective in executing their assigned missions. The Chief of the Defense Staff, Service Chiefs and Directors, ladies and gentlemen, it is truly an honor to be present at this event and I express the hope that our collaborative efforts will go beyond today's proceedings. I am glad to be part of this event and after today's demonstration and thorough review by the Air Force, I've been looking forward to your assessment of this aircraft for our future collaboration with both the Embraer Defense and Security and Nevada, Sierra Nevada Corporation. Thank you very much and may we be blessed in our collective effort and may we be blessed in today's witness. I wish the pilots the best of luck and God's guidance. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your remarks.
our guest of honor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for a static display and aircraft viewing by members of our high table. But while we wait for the pilots to commence, permit me to give you a brief about the A-29 Super Tucano aircraft. The A-29 Super Tucano is the gold standard for light attack, combat, and reconnaissance aircraft. Built in the United States by Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer Defense and Security, the A-29 has been selected by 16 Air Forces worldwide. It is a versatile and powerful table prop aircraft known, of, known for its rugged and durable design, allowing it to perform operations from unimproved runways and at forward operating bases in austere environments and rugged terrain with a variety of sensors and precision guided munitions. With more than 500,000 flight hours and more than 60,000 combat hours, the A-29 Super Tucano has achieved a significant record of successes in combat and has been called a game changer for aircraft effectiveness in close air support as well as intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions. The static and fly display will be done by Kennel Ferrara and Kennel Leonardo. They are supported by a team of engineers. May I kindly announce that this part of the display is reserved for our dignitaries. The rest of us will have our turn in due course. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I now respectfully invite our guests of honor and dignitaries to proceed to the tarmac area for the static display and aircraft viewing.
Yes, sir. The Super Tucano E29 aircraft has been acquired by many countries around the world for various roles such as border patrol, surveillance, counter terrorism, and self insurgency operations. Countries such as Brazil, Afghanistan, Angola, Chile, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Indonesia, Lebanon. Mauritania, Nigeria, Philippines, Senegal, and certain countries and customer certifications, the aircraft can be fitted as they range the common traffic down target and engaging moving forward vehicles, as well as fire external aircraft capable of carrying a variety of weapons and external flow tanks. Additionally, the aircraft can carry a range of air tanks and air air tanks. Overall, the aircraft's capabilities can be further enhanced through integration with various mission systems to a different skill to set up after the
would perform a series of elegant maneuvers for us with his breathtaking acrobatic power. We will continue to take music from the Air Force Regimental Band as the crew prepare to take over. Enjoyment today. They will first do a fast fly past at a speed of 240 knots, which is about 460 kilometers per hour. 
at 300 to 500 feet, they will nose up, which means they will start to climb. And then the aircraft will roll in sequence. After the first fly past, they will do a low speed fly past at, at 135 knots. They will pass slowly, do a normal maneuvering acrobatics. They will also simulate air to ground attack at 2,000 to 300 feet. They will climb up to about 2,000 feet, dive down to 300 feet, and then finally, they do a high speed pass and then slowly roll. We also have a surprise display after the A29 vertical display. The pilots on the aircrafts are Kennel Pereira and Kennel Leonardo. They are supported by a team of engineers. As mentioned earlier, the Super Tucano aircraft has been acquired by many countries around the world for various roles such as border patrol, surveillance, counter-terrorism, and counter-insurgency operations. Countries such as Brazil, Afghanistan, Angola, Chile, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, the aircraft can be outfitted with a range of armaments and capabilities. These include two internal 50 caliber machine guns for strafing ground targets and engaging lightly armored vehicles, as well as five external hard points capable of carrying a variety of weapons and external fuel tanks. Additionally, the aircraft can carry a range of air-to-ground and air-to-air -air missiles, including laser-guided bombs, rocket ports, and air-launched anti-tank guided missiles. The Super Tucano is also equipped with countermeasure systems, such as the shaft and flare, as well as a variety of sensors and targeting systems to detect and engage targets accurately. Overall, the aircraft's capabilities can be further enhanced through integration with various mission systems and equipped tailored to specific operational requirements. The Super Tucano is a highly effective platform for conducting a wide range of missions, including close air support, armed reconnaissance, and counterinsurgency operations. For our enjoyment this morning, the aircraft will perform a series of elegant maneuvers for us with its breathtaking acrobatic powers.
Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to announce that one of our very own pilots, squadron leader Reginald Kenny, is with the crew. He will act as the safety pilot. Squadron leader Reginald Kenny is a K-8 pilot with the Ghana Air Force.
We are getting ready to roll. Thank you all very much for your kind patience. a series of elegant maneuvers and breathtaking acrobatic prowess for our enjoyment this morning. As mentioned earlier, they will first fast fly pass by 240 knots at 300 to 500 feet and then they will nose up with slow rolls. This is a maneuver with agility and finesse executing high G turns and low level passes, demonstrating its speciality and responsiveness in dynamic combat environments. From strapping runs to simulated strapping, the A29 showcases its ability to deliver devastating firepower while maintaining superior situational awareness.
All safety measures have been taken, including a temporal flight restriction in the airspace for the purposes of this air show. headquarters is also actively monitoring. All is to ensure that this mini show comes off successfully without any hindrance. Very soon we shall see the fast fly pass at 300 to 500 feet.
you look closely, you will see the aircraft up in the sky. They are going to fast fly past at 300 to 500 feet. And then they will nose up with slow rolls. This is a maneuver with agility and finesse. Ladies and gentlemen, what we just saw was the first pass at a speed of 240 knots at 300 feet. The roll has been done exquisitely. They are repositioning for the next maneuver. A last pass, 135 knots. Ladies and gentlemen, the aircraft is repositioning for a low speed pass. This is a maneuver where the aircraft flies at a low altitude and speed over a designated area. It is done for the purposes such as aerial displays, recce, air to ground attacks. The maneuver is performed by reducing the aircraft speed and altitude, planning the approach path, executing the pass and returning to normal flight. Low speed passes can be visually impressive and showcases the pilot's skill and aircraft's capabilities. Let's keep a keen eye for this maneuver. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as the flight pass takes place, you may want to lose the comfort of the tents and maybe stand just a bit outside to watch it more. This is the low pass at 135 knots. As you can see, this is very slow compared to the first one. The first one is executed at 240 knots. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have just seen is the low speed pass. Tactics evaluation and equipment testing. The integrated process involves an aircraft and its weapon systems calculating flight dynamics, simulating target acquisition and weapon release, assessing damage, and analyzing feedback. This feedback is crucial in refining strategies, enhancing training programs, and identifying areas for further development. Also, seamlessly transitions from aerobatics to tackle demonstrations. Imagine yourself amid the battlefield as the 829 aircraft springs into action. With its precision guarded munitions, the aircraft can engage enemy targets with remarkable accuracy, showcasing its unparalleled precision and effectiveness. This is simulating the air to ground attack. This is how this aircraft has just become the bomb of barrage. It comes aiming at the target. When the target is acquired, it flies over, escaping any either ground to air attacks from the enemy.
If we were to be in the battlefield by now, we would have all been exterminated. Sometimes you can identify the targets who are well equipped on ground to maneuver over the terrain in order to evade aircraft acquisition. This is trap attack will come so low in an attack with fire and <laughs> Beautiful road. We just saw a final low path to Plymouth, the robotic display of the A-29 Scottish Panel aircraft. We have just enjoyed another low speed pass by the people's main first family. This shows how versatile this aircraft is, which allows you to quit in dynamic theatre.
Parliament tonight is taxing for parking at the front policeman. It's exclusive to the back of the street. for enhancing mobility of Abbey ground units and providing fire support in the battlefield. Its rules include tactical airborne assault, combat maneuvers, cargo transport, external load suspensions, air and seaborne assault, mobile assaults, air recce, search and rescue.
Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin with a series of group photographs whilst the air display is ongoing. We want to start with the guests of honor, ministers, ambassadors, members of parliament, the chief of defense staff and service chiefs, senior executives from Sierra Nevada and Embraer, a council of state member, honorable Sam Okujetu, the Chief Director. This is the first set. May I respectfully request our dignitaries to proceed to the photo stand. It's on my right, just at the backdrop area. All ushers kindly lead our dignitaries to the backdrop for the first set of group photographs. We are taking the first set. The second set will be with dignitaries and all major generals and equivalents who are present here. May I respectfully request all major generals and equivalents to proceed to the backdrop stand for the next set of photographs. The last set will be with all our retired personnel who are here, both officers and airmen. by the MI helicopter. We are now taking the last set of photographs. The last set will be requested to the Minister for Defence, the Chief of Defence now, the service chief, and all retired personnel. For the last set of group photographs, the Minister for Defence, the Chief of Defence Staff, Service Chiefs, and all retired personnel. M Squadron Leader Salia. For the leading aircraft, which is the Z9, we have Squadron Leader Bota and Squadron Leader Oko.
Thank you very much for your for doing us the honors. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for a presentation by Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer. May I respectfully invite Mr. Eric Hoff, the Senior Director International Business Africa, and Mr. Arnold Sobreru to make a presentation to the Minister for Defense. The presentation will be done in front of the aircraft. This is a special presentation by Sierra Nevada Corporation and Embraer Defense Institute. The presentation has just been done. It is a prototype of the super panel aircraft. Inside the James NS Akron Kote hangar. May I request our protocol team direct our dignitaries to the executive lounge. The rest of us may request to find the hangar. As I mentioned earlier, the display continues. We have the KA who is flying with a series of answers. Formation.
Ladies and gentlemen, outside the VIP, the VIP is all to remain people to enjoy them. But the display is still ongoing. We have the K8s behind us. Father Leader Kelly will continue with the commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, with our K8s airborne, it's now time for it to demonstrate its prowess in the air. For today's formation, the leading aircraft will be flown by Squadron Leader Benjamin Apau, Squadron Leader Reginald Ogun Kenny. For number two aircraft will be flown by Wing Commander Frank Atumios and Squadron Leader Prince Che Bafu. The number three aircraft will be flown by Squadron Leader Ebenezer Frenpon and Squadron Leader George Foley. As we wait for them, let me give you a brief on the K-8. This aircraft is a low-wing dual control trainer with a tandem seating. The aircraft is designed to be a basic or advanced trainer. However, owing to its ability to carry an armament stores on its four underwing hard points and one belly gun pole, the aircraft can be used for operational purposes. It has two side intakes, tricycle landing gears, a single belly speed brake and Fowler type flaps. The canopy is of a single piece, non jettable type, with jettable external fuel tanks. The aircraft has an endurance of four hours, 20 minutes. The onboard avionics package include virtual radio set, GPS, an automatic directional finder, a radio altimeter, instrument landing system, electronic flight instrument system. It is a position right in front of us is the three ship demo formation. This is a maneuver requires steam proximity to each other. Very good. What we just saw is the three ship demo formation. This is a maneuver requiring to stay in proximity to each other. Thank you. 